people deluded i'm back again thank you very much for tuning back in now here to speak about in relation to i've seen well at this point i think my videos come out i've offered my opinions in regards to ornstein's ornstein talking about arsenal's areas they want to improve um they've said the typical areas the center mids they're in the center halves the wingers um allegedly we want a striker now we've been very vocal on a striker um if i just look at dembele of leon who might be available we're always linked with him allegedly we've had scouts watching him frequently this season more recently they more recently their game against leon if you watched it kamara didn't have the best of games one young center half i like but um yeah if you read between the lines in an ideal world if the what i want to call necessary areas are in are, are invested in and addressed and there's money to go around then clearly you know emre will favor another striker he likes free strikers he's got time for Aubameyang and lacazette he's used them in different roles um he's used Welbs and Welbs, to be fair was decent in terms of scoring his scoring output until obviously his injury i did think regardless of Welbs being fit eddie would have got some chances more chances than he did this season I'm not working with the club or anyone or working with these players. So if you know doesn't deem he's ready or haven't given him a chance without Ed knowing any ins and outs, I just have to accept it. Um, but I did think he'd get chances. John Jules obviously went off with, with the lads to Dubai and it was a good look and he scored. And although it's not a competitive game and he wants to obviously make his proper debut in next season's cup competitions or Prem or whatever, he's there. Balogun signed a new deal, but he's probably behind Eddie and John Jules in terms of the pecking order. The next step for him is the 23s. Same goes for Greenwood. Now, if we sign Dembele for a fan's point of view, that's good. But you have to think about it. If I'm one of these young players, as much as I love them, you've got to think next 12 to 18 months to two years, you're young enough to make it here and you don't. it's, it's not the be or end all if you don't get a look in. You can afford to go out on loan. But I feel... It's the crucial steps now. You need to be, all of them need to be very selfish in regards to what they want to get out of football and what they want to achieve. Because I think all of the names I've said, Greenwood, if I didn't, too good to be playing academy football longer than they need to be. John Jules is badding it up. I think out of all the young players, John Jules is best at, out of all of them, he's better at dropping deep and mixing it up. And he's definitely the best young striker in terms of his back to goal. Eddie's probably the one furthest ahead in terms of how Unai Emery is utilising him of sorts. He's travelling with the squad. Balogun's a goal machine. And Greenwood is going to be an interesting one because I do think he's clearly can cut the mustard as a striker. He scored how many goals for the under-18s and did a, did a lot did a lot for the um, Euro under-17s England side. It was disappointing not to go through, but he scored in all games. So he has a career as a striker. He's been used on the flanks at 18s level, predominantly on the right. Not sure that's his future, but you can't rule it out. And he does all right out there ball footed to to a degree and a good set piece taker. I think the ten role possibly as well, man. I'd be interested to see him in the ten role long term. I think he's very promising in that role when I've seen him. So it remains to be said. But if we also consider that um he's also said he needs a winger, then like I said, all these players gotta be selfish, man, because there's only so many games people can play. You've got Obama and Lacazette. Now if you if we put Tyrese, Eddie, Balogun and Greenwood, four stri four young strikers. None, none of them, unless a miracle happens at this moment in time, are can you even see people? Apologies. That's our four young strikers. At this moment in time, none of them are playing ahead of one, Lacazette and Aubameyang. If you choose to go with one striker for a long period, it puts them further down the pecking order. If he goes with two, two, then cool. If he wants a third striker to come off the bench, then I get it, I get it, people. Um... Let's say this is Dembele. You can bring him off the bench or bring Welbs off the Welbs, Aubameyang or Lacquer on the off the bench and mix it up. Cool, but I think he wants to clearly go with three strikers, of sorts. Like a sort of four-three-three with three strikers, goal-scoring machines. Aubameyang could do the out wide stuff uh, to a degree. Lacquer through the middle and then one on the shoulder, and they all can rotate. Now, that's cool. That's three strikers. And that's four. That's four young players trying to fight for three strikers or the right to be fourth choice in this. In this, if we also consider that, remember I've said these two are the Lacazettes and Aubameyang's people. If I bring in this unknown striker, let's assume it's Dembélé, who always linked. That's three people, people. Now, Reese Nelson's to come back. Oh, this came off. Apologies, but Reese Nelson to come back, and a um and a new winger of sorts to come into the club, people. So you've already got. You can see. You've got one striker, two wingers, Nelson and a new one, one striker. Already, again, four players competing for one spot or on the bench. It doesn't go in. Now, 
if I put back our two strikers people, then that's five people compete five people competing to be in the three starting three starting positions up front, whether that's two wingers and a striker or three strikers people. And I would put the wingers back there in case I didn't do the best of examples. That's five men competing for three spots if that's what Unimemory wants to go with of sorts. Or if he wants to go two up front and then a midfielder, then it's even one less. So as much as I want these young players to make it and I believe in all of them, I also, if I'm their advisors or people around them or them themselves, they've got to be thinking about realistically how much game time is there. You can't underestimate how much they can learn being around the squad. I think patience is overrated, but I think, I think no, I think it's overrated and overstated. But by the same logic, I think it's underrated because just because you're 18 and there's a mad pathway like this doesn't mean that you need to go. For instance, Aubameyang is in his 30s. The next two or so years, he might fall off. Two years is a long way to wait for someone for a spot. So I would want to move if I was these players or advance my careers. But you can see how competitive it is for places, people. And that's without speaking about if any of these players are in form. You've got young Tyrese. You've got young Eddie. You've got Balogun. You've got Greenwood. Now, Greenwood and Balogun, it's 23s first, people. They've got a break into the 23s. I'd love to see them both skip that. But they've got a break into the 23s in a consistent period. Eddie is the one I'm looking at, Car. He needs to play football next season. He can't kind of do what he's done this year. Um, I want him to get chances. I thought he would, but I think he needs to go somewhere week in, week out. He has an honest chance of playing on the Sunday or the Saturday in a competitive first-team men's league. Forgive me for the outdated term. So you've got Eddie. John Jules, I believe he's got to be looking to kick on as well. Again, there's no probably less of a rush to, for him personally to go out on loan, and he's making good, good progress with the team. Um... I do think the the club probably will look to take him in pre season with them as well. He doesn't there's no force for him, but again, another one who does his thing at twenty three's football, you've got to wonder how long is he gonna be on it um, be on it before he wants a taste of the first team. He's already had a taste in Dubai training with Lacazette as he probably already is at London Coley. He's had a taste of it. There's only so much as much as I believe these players can benefit from training and being around these players, there's only so much of that that they can get without actually playing. And I want them all to make it. I back them all to make it here. But if I'm all of them, they've probably got to be selfish within the next 12 to 18 months to two years. Because like I said, five man competing for three spots. Lacazette's in his best part of his 20s. Aubameyang's got a couple of years left. If we bring in this now, this is all hypothetical. We forget this one is hypothetical. So there's four slots, four, four man competing for three slots at this moment in time. But if if Aubame, if Inouye gets his way, it'll become five. Then you've obviously got Nelson and a new winger or Nelson and a new winger, whatever flank you want either to have. So it's got to be said. And also, if you're one of these young players, if he does want a striker, if you're Tyrese, who, um, you see reports the club want to hand him a new deal. Um, I think he'll go away with pre-season. He's done his thing with the lads in Dubai, scored as well. So you're, you're getting there. Eddie on the, on the crusps as well. Balogun signed a new deal and highly thought of. Greenwood the same. If you see, you so you already know it's it's long trying to get ahead of Lacazette and Aubameyang. But if you hear Uno Emery wants another striker, you're playing for Arsenal Football Club, so you've got to deal with this sort of thing. And not just Arsenal, any top six club or any top club in, in, in matter of fact. But you've got to think, does the manager really believe in me? Of course the manager believes in youth and things, but does he really believe that I can cut the mustard and help if something happens to Lacazette and Aubameyang? Clearly not. So you've each one of them's got to think, rah, like what's going what's going on for me? Obviously, if you also consider again, new winger and Nelson, but there's actually two new wingers in that. Martinelli's gonna start with the 23s and then get brought up gradually. So there's a lot of competition. As much as I want all of these players to make it here, there's only eleven spots, people. There's only two spots up front. One if he goes with one striker, one if he goes with two wingers. So it's 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 good for the fans and the depth purposes, but if I'm any one of them players, there's a lot to think about, people. On that note, I'm going to get out of here, have some breakfast. People, DG.